quick presentation around Endeavor. It's probably my tenth presentation here, so uh, I'll go quick, unless uh, you're bright new. I don't think so. Um, Endeavor Mining produces uh, in uh, West Africa, premier African gold producer. Uh, we're producing about 700,000 ounces uh, across mainly three countries in West Africa, French West Africa, Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, and uh, Mali. And I'd like first, I mean, to talk about uh, why West Africa. And I think what's important is to recognize that uh, West Africa is today the uh, fourth largest gold producing region uh, globally. It's the third global exploration budget. And it's also the first discovery region overall. When you look in particular the comparison with uh, China, Australia, and Russia, you can see that uh, West Africa is even in front of the US uh, in terms of uh, gross production. But more importantly, uh, over the last 10 years, uh, it's the biggest discovery area. About 79 million ounces have been discovered over the last 10 years, and it's by far the biggest uh, discovery region. In particular, uh, in this region, what you're targeting as a geologist is the Bohemian Greenstone Belt. And the Bohemian Greenstone Belt uh, basically lies mainly between two countries, uh, Côte d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. Historically, Ghana and Mali, you can see a bit of the Bohemian Greenstone Belt, which is the green part, uh, have a bit of uh, Bohemian Greenstone. And most of the discoveries in the past have been done in those two countries, uh, mainly due to political reasons. Uh, the instability both in Burkina Faso and in Côte d'Ivoire made that a uh, few companies did some exploration in Côte d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso, despite the fact that the biggest Bohemian Greenstone Belt lies in those two countries. And this is why, as Endeavour Mining, uh, we are today the largest gold producer in Côte d'Ivoire and the second largest uh, gold producer in Burkina Faso, probably being the uh, biggest one in 2020 and with also with the biggest exploration portfolio, both in Côte d'Ivoire and in Burkina Faso. Uh, those are the countries where uh, the big discoveries in West Africa will come from. And as my dear friend Mark Bristow says, uh, you chase elephant mines in elephant countries, despite the fact there is no more elephant in Côte d'Ivoire, unfortunately. The other interesting part, and that's in particular for uh, French West Africa, is people tend to forget that uh, those countries pertain into the same economic union. So you have the same currency, and you tend to have progressively the same tax environment for all those countries. So it's becoming a very, very stable environment from an economic uh, investment perspective. And when you look at you know, who we are, Endeavor is one of the only multi-asset West African mid-tier producer. Uh, we really focus in this region, and we have assets in three different countries across West Africa. And in fact, what we've been building over the last uh, few years uh, around our four pillars, uh, operational excellence, project development, and also unlocking exploration value, some portfolio and balance sheet management, uh, we've been building progressively a 700,000 ounce annual producer uh, with over 10 years mine life and with all-in sustaining cost below 800, 850. This is where we came from. Uh, back in 2013, we were about 300,000 ounces. We'll be producing this year in average around 700,000 ounces based on our guidance. And we still have a project of pi pipeline of projects uh, that should help us to go progressively to 800 and then 1 million ounces of annual production all focus in one single region. In particular, we built that portfolio over the last uh, three years, building our two flagships, Hyundai in Burkina Faso, which is about 250,000 ounces for the next 10 years, and ET in Côte d'Ivoire, which is again about 250,000 ounces for the next 10 years, at low all-in sustaining cost. Uh, ET was commissioned back in, uh, in Q1 uh, last year, uh, and produced about 220,000 ounces uh, 200,000 ounces in, uh, in 2019 at uh, low or in sustaining cost, as you can see. Another key point is being focused in one single region uh, is to have all the team, and in particular all the technical expertise and the operational team, based out of Abidjan, uh, which means that all our mines are between one to two hours flight from Abidjan, where the core team uh, lives. 
So very easy, I mean, to operate and to be uh, strongly uh, on each of our operations across the region. Safety, uh, safety obviously is first, uh, and uh, we're very proud that over the last five years we built three mines. The three mines were built without any LTI, and uh, in particular over the last uh, close to 800 days, we had only two LTIs across our all operations. So safety is a key fundamental option of our culture. Another key one is obviously uh, empowering our local forces and growing our local talents. We're proud because uh, back in 2019, we were able to uh, appoint uh, three local GMs out of four mines. So it's not 50% GMs are West African, but it's 75%. Martino, you forgot to change that one on the slide. 75% of our GMs are from West Africa. Construction. Uh, so we have a strong team in terms of construction over the last five years. Uh, we built uh, three mines, uh, three mines that were built on time and on budget. Uh, Agbao was $150 million construction, Unde was a $300 million construction, and uh, ET was a $420 million construction. Interestingly, uh, we don't have to do M&A. We keep uh, being uh, opportunistic and looking at options, but we don't have to do M&A as we still have a strong portfolio for growth within our portfolio uh, with two upcoming projects, Kalana in Mali, uh, which has uh, uh, 2 million ounce uh, at, uh, um, sorry, 2.8 million reserves at about uh, above 2.5 grams per ton. And we're now building up progressively our FETECRO project uh, in Côte d'Ivoire, which is already reaching 1.2 million ounces uh, at uh, uh, 2.3, 2.4 grams per ton. So very uh, interesting upcoming projects uh, for our portfolio. We've been also investing a lot in exploration. Uh, one particular item was uh, three years ago with uh, Patrick Buisset, head of exploration. We said that uh, we would discover 10 to 15 million ounces over a five-year program. A lot of companies are proud to say they're investing in exploration, that they are going to raise equity for exploration, but they don't necessarily tell you how much they're going to find. Uh, here, we said over the next five years, we're going to find 10 to 15 million ounces. And uh, I'm proud to say that, uh, you know, after three years, we've already discovered 6.3 million ounces, and we're tracking well to reach this uh, 10 million ounces plus over five years. What's more interesting uh, is that uh, those ounces are mostly above two grams per ton, and about 50 to 60 percent are oxide, and the rest in transition. None of them are refractory ore. So very attractive answers that will generate a lot of cash. Portfolio and balance sheet. Uh, interestingly, obviously, over the last uh, three years, building both Hyundai and ET are two flagships. Uh, we've been increasing our net debt. Uh, but what has been amazing is over the last two quarters, Q3 and Q4 was, a, uh, was our inflection point, the commissioning of uh, ET and starting to generate a, a strong cash. And over two quarters, uh, we've been able to reduce the net debt by $129 million. And in particular, if you look at the next slide, which is our net, net, net cash flow, so it's not uh, you know, temptative net cash flow like uh, you know, companies can do. It's real net cash flow uh, after everything. You can see that uh, you know, the construction phase for ET was, again, a $420 million uh, project. The inflection point that was reached in Q3 and reaching to uh, $42 million in Q3 and $70 million of net cash in Q4. So uh, significant cash flow coming up from Endeavor over the next uh, few quarters. This allowed us in particular, if we take the uh, Q3 annualized results, uh, to generate a 15% return on capital employees. And this is what we're targeting now. And as I'm getting out of time, I need to finish with this last slide. Uh, which is uh, we've been building up progressively this company uh, successfully and it is now time for strong cash flow coming up from the uh, operations and still maintaining a strong focus on our exploration team as we believe that the next key project will come from our own discoveries. Thank you very much.